and the risks are extremely inhuman. And so these gigantic buildings are put up, and especially the military industrial building complexes, which in the end all lead to the scars of this pseudo-progress practically destroying the natural foundations of human life. And so that the whole of society becomes, in effect, a society of chaotic beings that will lead to global suicide. Real progress is being made in a laboratory in Canada. Here, the full significance of the physical laws of light and space have become clear to John Hutchison and he is utilizing this knowledge to produce cause and effect experiments which lead to an understanding of the harmony of nature. Science, in harmony with the laws of nature for the good of mankind, will hold great values in many fields and would advance its course beyond our present comprehension. John Hutchison has been working in the areas of electromagnetic forces and the changes in the molecular structure of materials for many years. He has in this time achieved a breakthrough in anti-gravity knowledge, providing spectacular examples of heavy objects flying through the air without any visible signs of propulsion. He has also made amazing discoveries concerning the alteration of compositions of materials by subjecting them to a form of electromagnetic bombardment. Hard metals would turn into soft, rubbery objects, proving that any substance could change its form if the science involved was understood. Hutchison is one of the growing number of scientists who realize that by applying physics to the natural laws of the universe, science will be taken into areas previously unrecognized. John Hutchison's achievement will give science a new momentum as it moves into the next century. Some of the work of uh, the lone inventor, uh, John Hutchison, in Canada, Vancouver, Canada. Hutchison takes two Tesla coils and uh, essentially puts in the center of them a target, which in every target has certain nonlinearities, and then blasts away with these two coils at them. Basically, what he establishes is an electromagnetic fighting itself, electromagnetic forces fighting themselves. And gravitational force is made when, a gravitational potential is made when electromagnetic forces fight themselves to a draw, when, in other words, the gradients become zero. The, uh, the gradient vectors or the resultants become zero, but the two forces are still in there slugging it out. All the energy is still going. The work is still going, but it's trapped locally. That's internal energy. That's what gravity is. And the Whitaker paper tells very well how to do that. So when John got things just right, he didn't have control of it, absolute control, but we, he bored in there with persistence. And when he got things just right to get the forces to fight to a draw, and there was the right nonlinearity in the target, he would have levitation and things, even 64 pounds. He would also, another thing you do with such a thing is you cause uh, the magnetostatic potential to change a vacuum. In other words, that's pole, an unfortunate name in magnetism. But uh, in other words, it causes deposits of monopoles inside 